It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Good morning, and thank you for coming to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hey, I, I you know what? I want to get one of those, uh, oh, I'll take a gingerbread latte. Oh, yum. What a great start to your day. Can I get you yeah, anything else? Yeah, it's a great else? start to the season. Are you right? kidding me? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> can I get you anything else? Um, No, I think that's enough gingerbread for this morning. Okay, and what name can I put on the cup? Oh, uh, Dave. Okay. Oh, um. Yeah, is there something wrong? The, the cup, it's just red. Yeah, it's the new, you know, our holiday season cups. So. Yeah, but where's like all the reindeer and the Christmas trees and the Santa Clauses and all yeah, the other fun stuff? Yeah, we decided to go really simple this year, you know, kind of a minimalistic less is more kind of message. But it's just red? Yeah. Well, it's red and green, you know, it's got the little lady. Mm. <laughs> She's still green, so... Okay, Dave, okay. I'll have that right up for you at the end of the counter. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Well, I would like to get an eggnog latte. Okay. What a great start to your day. What name can I put on the cup? Um, Mary. Okay. All right. Anything else? Yes. Um, can I get one of the festive holiday cups, please? Oh, those came out yesterday. This is it. We're, we're doing a really minimal. No, I want the one with the decorations. Yeah. I want the one that has the holly and the merriment. Yeah, we went really simple this year. Kind of um, less is more. So it's still red and green so that it's festive. But, um, you know, simple. Understated. It's ugly. Okay, I'm sorry about that, Mary. Is there anything else I can get for you? Can you at least draw a snowflake on it? Um, I'm not really good. I'll try. I'll try to draw something on there, maybe a tree or something. That looks like a star. I'm, um, I'm not a very good artist. <laughs> um, I'll see if anyone else, um, uh, of our baristas can make something for you. It'll, the drink will be available at the end of the counter. Fine. Okay, thanks. Oh, she's scary. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started? Well, good morning, for you? little lady. How are you doing? I'm great. How are oh, you? I'm doing, oh, I'm doing so good this morning. <laughs> I tell you, I woke up this morning. I knew I was going to be able to get my gingerbread latte. Yeah. And I knew I could get a gingerbread, a, a skinny gingerbread latte, right? which I'm super <laughs> excited about. Yeah. So it's I would love, kickoff. I would love to get me one of them, them delicious Excellent. skinny gingerbread lattes. What size would you like? Oh well, I'm, if I'm gonna do it, I might as well do it big, right? All right. I'll take a venti. <laughs> okay. All right. What, what name can I put for you? What What's going on with that? I cannot get one of them. You got the Christmas cups, right? Yeah, this is actually the new cup that came no, out No, no, yesterday. no. I want the Christmas cup with the Christmas trees and. You know the the where it says Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah, no, we. And we, it's got you know some festive and yeah. I want the I want the Christmas cup. Yeah, this one just came out yesterday. It's the new holiday cup. We're kind of doing a minimalistic, less is more kind of feel. Minimalistic. So what kind of yuppie the, Upper West Side bullshit is that? It's, it's so everyone can make the season what they want it to be. But I want I want a Christmas cup. I want I want my Christmas on my cup. Why can't I get Christmas on a cup? Um, it's it's still red and green. You know, the little the lady is green, and so it's red and green. I tell colors. you, this is the most disturbing thing I've ever seen in a Starbucks. Okay, well, feel free to you go know, to our website and I and I email. read the Bible uh-huh. and Ecclesiastes number five, chapter three uh-huh. states as follows. Uh-huh. If thou hast not dranketh from the cup of Christ, thou hast dranketh from the taint of Satan. Okay. Um, and I, I do not believe that this is a Christmas cup if there is no Christmas on it. Okay, well, I'm really sorry about that, sir. Um, like I said, you can contact headquarters and let them know you're concerned. I surely will. Okay, I surely what, will. What name can I put on the cup? Well, you can put Mary. Put Merry Goddamn Christmas. Do you want the whole thing? Merry Just God. the Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. Christmas. 
Oh, that's funny. Her name's Mary too. I f but I don't. I feel like maybe your name's not actually Mary. Um, did you marry Lloyd? <laughs> I don't get the joke. Okay. I'm here to oh, meeting up with my Bible study. I will, will be, be right the, over there. Okay, it'll be at the end of the counter. They'll call you when it's done. <sighs> Man, this is gonna be a nightmare. Oh, hi, little guy. Hi. What can I get for you? I, I would love to get a peppermint mocha. Okay, great. What size? Oh, can I get a tall? Sure, no problem. What name could I put on the cup for you? Well, can you put Linus on the cup? Yeah, no problem, buddy. Oh, I really oh. like your blanket. Oh, thanks. Oh, it is... I thought you guys always had Christmas cups at this time of year. Yeah, we changed them yesterday, and people aren't really liking them because we tried to go simple and... Yeah, Christmas is my favorite time of year. Yeah, me too. I really like it. I guess people get upset because they they see Christmas as this, this time of gathering and this time of oneness, and we like to have our traditional family values. And You know, it's not really about a cup or a gift or anything like that, or even a tree. It's really just about coming together and, and being as one and celebrating Christmas the way it should be celebrated as a celebration of the birth of Christ. And I really believe that whatever the color of the cup is or whatever the cup looks like, it doesn't matter because it's all about coming together and being as one. Wow. That was really beautiful, Linus. Mm, thank it's you. It's kind of amazing someone your age would have all that thought, you know, and, and be so reasonable. Yeah. But, um... Just so you know, um, as far as Starbucks is concerned and just the red cup, it's actually because we're leading the war on Christmas and we're trying to wipe it from the entire country. And the red represents the skin color of our Dark Lord Satan. But thanks, though, and your drink will be ready at the end of the counter in just a minute. 